So why is the Tesla Solar Quote so much lower and so much cheaper than any other quote on the market? That's the question that I'm gonna be answering in today's video and more. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm with Solar Surge, and if you're just tuning into the Solar Surge channel and you're new here, welcome. This is where we're going to go over everything you need to know as a homeowner looking into solar and whether or not it's right for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a frequently asked question I get from a lot of homeowners that I talk to. You know, they'll be interested in solar, go online, find out, okay, well, I know Tesla. I recognize that brand. I might have an electric vehicle that's a Tesla. So let's check out the Tesla solar and see what it's like. And then they get a number, a quote, uh, after plugging in their information online, they'll go and, you know, plug in the basic information, get a quote, small, medium, large, right? Pretty basic. And then they're excited, they got this quote, and then they think, okay, well, let me do my due diligence, get a couple more quotes. And then they get other quotes and are blown out of the water because it's so much higher. And they're like, well, I'll just go with so Tesla, or should I go with Tesla because of the price difference? So that's what I wanted to answer today. So with Tesla, it's a couple of factors as to why they're so much cheaper than the other companies, right? So first one is equipment. So there really aren't many options or any options at all with Tesla. So we have one panel, one inverter, one battery, that's it. And then now let's say you want to look at, a, at the performance on the per panel level. There's no module level tracking with Tesla. So a lot of our homeowners, for example, are excited when they get solar because they have it on their app and they can show their, their neighbors, their friends, their family, and are like, look, look how much my panel, this one individual panel is performing and producing uh, for my home or how much the entire system is producing in terms of electric power. And so that's something that you'd be missing out with Tesla. Another thing is really just the customer service. I think, you know, anywhere you Google it online, um, anywhere you look, there are lots of reviews basically saying, unfortunately, that the customer service has gone away. It's all been replaced with AI, right? So unfortunately, that doesn't work so well when you have an issue and you need some help and you can't get anybody on the phone. I don't know about you, but it's extremely frustrating when I'm trying to get a live representative on the call and unfortunately don't. So that's something that's really key when we're looking at this is if you're just looking for the, you know, the cookie cutter approach, then Tesla could be the way to go for sure. It's not a bad option at all. It actually does perform well overall. But if you're looking for more of a custom approach where you're able to look at the panels, decide on a different kind of panel, different watts, different size, um, different warranty, all of those factors go into play as well as the customer service end of things. Um, let's say you have an issue down the line and you want to get a hold of some, somebody. It'd be really frustrating to not get a hold of a person and instead just being run through the mill of, okay, talking to one AI after the other, the robots on the phone, right? Um, so those are things that we're seeing across the board why people will, will kind of come to us instead of going sol uh, solar with Tesla, or they've already gone with Tesla and they're coming to us because they wanna upgrade or have battery backup. These are the kinds of stories that I'm hearing. Um, in fact, some in some cases, they even cancel the contract or they charge you more at the time after you've already progressed a certain way. I was talking to one homeowner in California a couple months ago, and he was saying he actually got far enough there where they they already did a site survey, they signed all the paperwork, they were getting rolling, and then before submitting any of the, the permitting and the engineering plans, um, they just canceled. They canceled it straight out and didn't really even give him a reason, actually. It went on for eight months before they just canceled. Um, so unfortunately, it's things like that where if you have more of that custom approach, like I was saying, we want to be able to treat each of you individually, not as the cookie cutter approach where you're just going to kind of get small, medium or large. So those are a couple of the factors as to why Tesla is so much cheaper than the rest of the rates. So that all goes to say, it doesn't mean that solar is that much more expensive just if you don't go with Tesla. Really, it's up to your specific system and what's the best system for your home. So let's say you've already gotten a quote, if you already have, 
and you want a second opinion or a third opinion, please reach out to me. I'm happy to talk to you. My number and the link is gonna be below. You can schedule a call with me. We can go over what your goals are with solar, what you're really looking for, and kind of just get a customized approach and, and find out what would be the best for you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.